this is the part nine of our series on how to write books with your smartphone and today i want to teach you how to generate a table of contents while writing books with your phone at the beginning of this series i said you don't need to start writing out your table of contents and matching them with each pages that is going to be a lot of work so the best way to do it is to arrange your heading one and heading two and normal style so that you can generate your table of contents automatically if you've watched part one to part eight and you are watching this part nine i believe that by now you are already a professional in book formatting from day one we started with the title page the copyright page introduction i taught you how to get images and how to add images to your book to make it look very attractive as you can see chapter one sub chapters i told you how to do all these things and make your book look professionally formatted we added more images to the blank pages i also explained how to use odd and even number pages i taught you how to remove background from images to make them look very nice like they have been part of the book from the beginning chapter three is the last chapter in this book and i also taught you how to add links to your books so that you can sell more books inside your new or subsequent books oh we even have chapter four okay this is chapter four which is the last chapter before our conclusion so i also taught you how to add tables these tables you add them as bonuses for your paperback versions then you write it in your kindle versions that in the paperback version of this book you have included garden tracker or a diet tracker or recipe notes or recipe journal or mood tracker if you are doing self-help for example you are doing time management you can do a time management tracker it's going to be like a timetable where the person will write what they want to do for the day the time they want to do it and how they want to achieve it let's say you are doing a book on procrastination how to beat procrastination for example you can have something like a procrastination journal you can have a mood journal or activity journal so that the person will use it to track their process in beating procrastination they can track their progress how far they've gone what they've done how well they are able to change from their procrastination to a goal getter or an achiever how they've been able to swing from the bad side of procrastination to fighting and beating procrastination so depending on what you are doing or depending on the kind of book you are writing you will be able to figure out what you will put in this table so i've shown you how to get this table and the kind of things you can do inside and i also showed you how to adjust this table let's say you're writing a travel guide for example you can put a note at the end like where the visitor or the traveler can write his experience the things he saw the kind of people he saw he should write his own experience after you have created a travel guide for them to guide them through their vacation they can have their own space where they can now write their own first-hand experience things they don't want to forget in that vacation why they would want to go back there their observation and all so you just have to be creative depending on the type of book you're writing then you would know how to label your table but i just showed you how to do it generally and they are all the same for mobile phones you use the same concept for mobile phones it is when you are using a laptop that you can have varieties that you can switch designs for your bonuses now let me quickly complete this table because on youtube and even twitter i got some questions that are vital people were asking me that should they end the table 
on an even number or an odd numbered page i remember that i didn't explain that when i explained how to do the table so just like every other chapter or introduction or conclusion your table must start from an odd numbered page and end with an even numbered page in this case we have our table starting on page 41 which is an odd number and ends on page 43 which is also an odd numbered page so if your table ends on an odd numbered page you have to add an image to cover up for the last page so that it will end on an even numbered page after you finish arranging your table and you still have some rows or columns that you don't want or would not let you conclude your table or your book on the page you are supposed to end it with you can delete any extra from the table by simply clicking on the entire row like this once you click it it will highlight the entire row then you will tap on delete row not delete table you will tap delete row as you can see it has deleted that row now we have page 43 you see that this small extra you would also want to delete it so you just tap on it like this again and you see that it has highlighted the entire row you just click on delete row you see that your table now looks perfect how many pages do we have we have three pages one two three you can add more okay it depends on the value you want to give now the next thing you want to do is to add page break tap the plus sign click on page break so that it moves to the next page remember that you want to end your book this is the final part of this book you want to end it with an even numbered page so all you need to do is that if you cannot add more table let's say you've gotten the number of required cells you want for your table you can just add an image on the last page a relevant image let's quickly do that you tap on the plus sign tap image from photos add here you go this is perfect so our book ends on page 44 which is perfect i already downloaded this image before so i just added it here now if you see it you'll see that everything looks intact after the conclusion you have a table like this and then a picture at the end of your book immediately after this picture the next thing is going to be the back cover that is in the print version which is your paperback or the hardcover versions now it is time to add our table of contents remember that at the beginning of this series we kept two pages for table of contents if you remember we kept two pages because we don't know how long our table of contents will be so we just kept two pages for it sometimes your table of contents can run into three pages sometimes you can run into four pages but understand that the concept of a table of contents is that it should take at least two pages or four pages your table of contents should take even numbered pages if it takes one page add an image on the entire full side of the second page if it takes two pages then you are good to go because your introduction or chapter would start from an odd number i hope that is clear if it takes three pages add an image on the fourth page so that it will be four pages so it has to be either two pages or four pages if it's two pages no need to add any image on the third page just continue your introduction like that because definitely that is going to be an odd numbered page but if it takes three pages you need to add an image on the fourth page so that your introduction or chapter will start from the fifth page but if it takes four pages no need to add any image again just start your introduction or chapter from the fifth page so now we want to add our table of contents all you need to do 
is to simply go to the page where you want to put your table of content like this then you tap directly under where you've written table of contents you click on the plus sign and then you scroll down to the last element on that page like this where it will show you table of contents after you click on the plus sign you scroll down to the last element on that page you will see table of contents please note that this table of contents is for iphone users i'll do the one for android phone immediately after this so if you are using an iphone this is the method you would use you tap on the table of contents and it will ask you do you want with page numbers or with blue lines let me give you the difference with page numbers is for paperback or hardcover whenever you are designing for paperback or hardcover that is when you would use with page numbers but if you're designing or creating only your kindle then you will use with blue links because kindle books don't have page numbers and they don't have numbers in their table of contents too so this is the paperback version always create your paperback version first then you can now remove all the elements that is not needed for the kindle so you tap on with page numbers what did you see automatically it has generated a table of contents even to the garden timetable as you can see chapter one he wrote all the elements under the chapter one chapter two all the elements under chapter two like that like that with their corresponding pages you see that it, we didn't just start writing introduction and matching the page number chapter one matching the page number it has generated it for us automatically just because we had to set our heading one heading two it is the heading one and heading two that this app would use to generate the table of contents for you automatically so let's just make this table of contents text big highlight it click on the a sign bold increase the font size paragraph center and we are good you can decide to change the color but remember that in your paperback everything is black and white so there is no need to even change the color all the colors we've been using before are only going to appear in your kindle and there you have it now let's see how many pages our table of contents took it just took only one page this means that on the second page we must add an image on this second page we must add an image let me give you another hint if you want to add an image on the second page that is after your table of contents you can decide to put your book cover your book cover design you can put your book cover design here or put it at the beginning of your book i already have the book cover designed let me just insert it on this blank page plus sign image from photos as you can see we just added an image on the second page you know that we kept two pages for table of contents and we are able to use only one so the second page should have an image it's not compulsory that it is the book cover design but i just use the book cover design you can get an image of something related to the book you are writing like in this case another flower image that is very beautiful just add it here now we have successfully completed the paperback version of this book let us look at our book from the beginning this is the title page copyright page table of contents a nice image of our book cover introduction everything in this book looks perfect this is how to format a book with your smartphone everything looks perfect if you scroll down you would see that we have our conclusion then we have the table which is a bonus this is just short because it's a tutorial you can have up to 10 pages or even five pages for this the more the number of pages the more the reader would appreciate it but remember that this 
bonus is only applicable to the paperback version of your book when it's time to create the kindle which we are going to do now you have to remove this table so now that we have our paperback version we will now go and save it you tap on the three dots at the top right corner then you click share and export then save it as a word document save as word you tap on it is saving we have successfully saved our paperback version of our book as you can see it is showing us our book look at it very nice you see can you see this is how to format a book successfully with your smartphone i mean if somebody is reading this book they would actually like it they won't even know it was formatted with a phone as you can see looking very nice with pictures you see this is our table and an image to end the book so that is for iphone users let us also add table of contents for android users